Spring break is the highlight of some high schoolers' second semester. Family trips and relaxing are high on the to-do list. But what if you're an athlete and can't go on those trips or take a break? Kevin Jackman looks into some of the teams and what their trip itineraries are. Presented by Edward Medical Group. It cuts right into seasons every year, spring break. So how do high school coaches, players, and teams deal with it? Well, let's check in on three teams from three schools with three different ways of approaching spring break. For Nequa Valley Baseball, and for all baseball played in the Midwest during March, it's not exactly ideal weather to get jammed by a fastball or have to lay out for a fly ball. So Coach Robin Renner has a simple solution, get away. This year, it's to Tennessee. The wind's blowing and it's nasty cold and uh, I had a contact uh, from Memphis at the time uh, and he invited us to come down and so we went to Memphis for five years and this is the second year I think uh, we're going to Nashville. The 19 year coach also uses the annual spring break trip to unite his team, pairing juniors and seniors in the rooming assignments. He also has the team explore museums, hall of fames and even St. Jude's Hospital which has left a lasting impression. A lot of them say their spring trip, most of them would say, you know, playing games with the kids at St. Jude's uh, was their most memorable experience, which is pretty awesome. While the Wildcats will play five varsity games over break, Badman at Naperville North remains out of competition until April 3rd. That doesn't mean that Coach Heather Shields simply waves goodbye until April. She sends her players home with cardio exercises to help keep an edge. It's really good for them because I think that that's what gives them not only the actual physical endurance, but also the swagger to know, like, now I'm in this situation and I prepared for it and maybe she didn't, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to win this game. Outside the take-home workouts, Shields will only hold two semi-formal workouts over break, and it's to allow her student athletes to focus on themselves. A lot of the girls go on college visits or just try and catch up on life and sleep because this week is terrible for them. Most of them have tests in all their classes, AP seasons right around the corner. So usually I try to like let them take it easy over spring break. Bennett Academy boys volleyball coach Jeffrey Steinberg noted college visits as well, not to mention the rigors of the students' academics. The boys study hard, and so we kind of have to balance that with our practices during the week to make sure we give them time to study. So they definitely enjoy having that free time um, and not having to focus on everything for sure. The Red Wings will still have tests, albeit on the court. Bennett will attend both the Marist Invitational and the Wheaton Warrenville South Tiger Classic, which allows Steinberg to keep his team on the same page. When I was a player, we actually got spring break off, which I think negatively impacted our team. I kind of enjoyed it as a player at the time, um, but it did hurt us because we didn't get those that rep kind of time in there. It's the same break at the same time every year. And yet for these three successful teams with three different methods, well, it proves there's no one right answer on how to manage spring break. For Naperville Sports Weekly, I'm Kevin Jackman.